Hi, welcome to the fifth week of my Medical Intuitive Metaphysical Monday series. The fifth week we're going to focus on the fifth chakra. Remember the chakras that energy vortex is emanating from the spine out the front and the back? And this one is your truth chakra. This is a rich center, right? It's the truth of who you are here. It's also an interceptor between the mind and the heart. A lot of us have had neck issues. Thyroid's big. Parathyroids are here. Larynx, windpipe. This chakra is all about the respiratory system. So even though the lungs are in our fourth chakra, there's some overlays there with the love and all of that, it's the topper of the respiratory system. So if anybody has respiratory issues, I'm going to really look at what's going on in their fifth chakra. So if energy is flowing over to their right, you know, it's not nourishing the thyroid and all of this, this is saying that they have some unaligned belief systems, right? Okay, so beliefs from what they truly believe inside and what's been told or they've taken on through the generations or society beliefs. If energy is flowing off to the left side, they're speaking other people's truths. They're still not aligned with their own truth. Sometimes I'll see a hole here. Um, they're not aware of what their truth is. Uh, not feeling safe, being their truth, living their truth. Sometimes there's a lack of movement here. And, and again, waffling, okay? Now, our breath, since this is about the respiratory system, our breath is about life force energy, taking in, exchanging. And so that's expressing ourselves in this lifetime. So what's a fear that's often held here? Not being heard, not being heard. So it's also our ears go into this chakra. We'll often hold anger here. Anger can get so suppressed here. And it's about not being heard. And there's some misalignment in their reality that they're swallowing, they're trying to swallow, and it doesn't fit with the truth of who they are. So take a moment, if any of this resonates with you, journal. Because a big piece of healing this is not to be judgmental about what's there or about a belief you took on that you're not going to swallow anymore. Sit with yourself in quiet reflection. This is a lot about listening to your inner guidance. Okay? And write and say, I'm listening. What do I need to hear? Okay? What will also help this center is um, deep breath, connecting with breath toning, different singing, different pitches, just tones. It doesn't have to mean anything. I, I know for me, for a while, that's I intuitively, every time I got in the car, <laughs> tone, ah, right? <laughs> it's clearing, clearing the energy. Uh, Dr. Gabor Maté is a medical doctor in Canada, has written a couple fascinating books, and one was When Your Body Says No. And his view on asthma was that there's these factors going on. Number one is there's overprotectiveness, rigidity, lack of conflict resolution. Do I not feel safe to resolve this conflict with this person, this experience? And there's too much enmeshment. Okay, so when I see somebody coming in with the asthma, we're going to look at that. Now remember, none of the chakras stand alone. I'm going to be reading that here, but how does that relate to you know, the second chakra, what are you holding on to from the past? And next week when we talk about the sixth, about um, this has to do with some of the um, family beliefs that we've taken on through the generations. So I wish for you to heal through all of your chakras by doing your part and listening and sitting with that non-judgment, sit in quietude, be with you. Listen, your body will tell you. It'll give you messages. And when you feel you need a little guidance and support, we're, I'm here. Send me a message. Be gentle. Send lots of love to every area that's calling out. Thank you. Namaste.